What's going on guys, my name is Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best free video editing software of 2018. I recently did a video quite similar to this one called the best free video editing software for YouTube of 2018. Did great, over 3,000 views in, I believe, about two weeks. We might be bordering on the third week now, not entirely sure, but without further ado, let's jump into just the plain, simple version, the non-YouTube version of the best free video editing software 2018. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so step number one in the quest to get this best free video editing software is simply to go to the link I will link down below in the description, shotcut.org slash download and download the Windows version, the Mac version, or the Linux version, obviously depending on what operating system you guys are on. Now, I'm obviously not gonna download that because I have already installed it, and uh, once you have installed it, you can open it up. But also, um, when I installed it, the, the particular app didn't actually come up anywhere on my desktop or anything, so I did just have to type in shortcut and then just pin it to my taskbar down here. Super simple process, obviously, you know what I mean? You just open it and then right click and uh, pin you know what I mean, program to taskbar. But when you actually open it up, guys, it will look exactly like this. Very simple video editor. Um, if you go down here, obviously this will be your timeline and everything like that. Look at that, I believe I can drag my timeline up a little bit so we have half uh, resources up here, half timeline down here. So this being your timeline and everything like that, now I've dragged that over here just to adjust it to actually start adding new layers to your timeline. It is very simple. Either you're, uh, you're gonna wanna just right click here and just go add video and add audio, or you can actually go up here and click this little three kind of drop downs, and then you'll get the exact same menu that you get if you just right click. So I've put an audio layer, and I've put a video layer, and uh, now uh, most video editors, or at least most up-to-date modern video editors, stuff like Premiere, stuff like After Effects, you can just go ahead and drag all your footage directly in. However, Shotcut is a little bit different to that style where you would actually have to go about the kind of old school version, go up to open file, just go over to your uh, area where you keep all your files. I'm just gonna go to my future footage from when I went to film future, and I'm just gonna bring in, uh, bring in just that clip there, C0097. Boom, so that's pretty nice right there. We're gonna go ahead and drag that in right there. And simply what this is, is just the rapper Future, who I filmed in London, like literally three months ago or something like that. Basically spitting, um, rapping mask off, right? So that's one of his tunes or whatever. Nice clip. I like it. So we're going to see how we can amplify this clip to turn it just from a basic club clip. There's not really anything special, you know what I mean? But uh, but it is at a nice part where it's kind of coming up to the drop of the song and everything like that. So I feel as though we can definitely edit a nice little section out of this. So first off, guys, of course, you're probably a little bit confused by this. You don't really know where everything is. Um, I'll kind of just try to get you guys a little bit more... Um, comfortable with the program if you're kind of following on with me right now. So for example, right here, we don't necessarily want all of this clip. And also if you guys are editing uh, your own edit, you're not going to want all of every clip you bring in. So actually they've got a pretty nice little built-in um, split feature where you can actually just go to where you'd want to cut it. So I'm just going to listen to the audio quick. Sounds like I probably want to cut it over here because I want a nice build up to the drop, right? And you can go ahead and press S, and that is simply going to split your clip in two. Then you can just go ahead and delete the, uh, the first section and just drag this one back over there to the beginning of the timeline. And now, boom, it is going to start, and let's listen to it when it starts, right? So now it's much closer to the drop, right? Much closer to the drop right there. And we can actually go a step further, or many steps further, really, in, in amplifying this and, uh, and really changing it up to a, to a much nicer looking edit by actually going up here to the filters section, right? Filters is essentially just all your effects, all your other cool stuff that you can do to this clip. So if we go ahead and click filter, there's a couple things that I'd probably do to this clip at first, just to make it flow a little bit nicer and uh, just kind of keep everything, um, like I said, just flowing a little bit nicer. So I'd probably go up here to plus, and that would be to add a filter. Now, what a, a, a nice one that um, that I kind of figured out when I was messing around was fade in. So for example, we could fade this in right at the beginning, boom, and then it just drops right there. So that fades in but we maybe even want to bring that over, right? So that so that it fades in and then drops right away. So I probably want to cut it maybe like there. Delete that, drag that over, go back to this clip, plus that again, and fade in the video. So now if we play, let's have a look at that drops. 
boom. So now it fades in and then drops right away. Hold on, I'll shut up so you can listen to the music as well. Right away, right away. So then we can even go a step further right now just to make it flow a little bit even nicer. Go ahead and plus another filter and just go fade in the audio, boom. So now, boom, fades in and then drops right away. Looking nice, definitely, definitely, definitely amplified up a little bit by just by just making you flow a little bit better like that. But now we'll probably want to move on to something a little bit more high tech, a little bit better, right? And there's, there, there is a lot of a lot of decently um decently kind of coded uh, coded effects in here, right? And one of them is actually the color correction. This particular one is actually all right. It's 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 under the name of color grading. Okay, boom. So if we go to color grading. Um, the wheels that they actually give you here along with maybe some presets or I guess you can set your own presets So if you make one that's really nice, I guess you could save it Copy the filters. Um, I'm not too sure where you, where you go about saving it But overall currently they give us three sections, right? So for example, my clip right now is pretty basic. It's, it's nothing too special I kind of want to maybe start bringing the blues out. That's something you'd see in a club edit very heavily maybe very Close it in on the blue so instantly there if we go ahead and uncheck this we can see what it looked like before Much more plain much more basic nothing too contrasty nothing actually too detailed boom We put that blue filter on and instantly it's feeling a little bit more kind of cinematic, right? It's feeling a little bit more like this is a scene straight from a big edit or a movie or a music video or whatever and not just a scene from me stood behind future <laughs> trying to film his back <laughs> Which is the reality of this uh, of the scene? Um, so now if we play this real quick with this color correction on I think it might have a slight lag But you guys can have a have a little look on what it's looking like Definitely definitely a lag attached to it 100% a lag attached to it But either way doesn't really matter because that's obviously just the preview Definitely looking nice hundred percent looking nice now. Um, I'm not actually gonna save this yet what I want to do uh, is, is really push it even a step further now. I want to see how we can make this start to look to look like a full-blown edit. Because color-wise, it's already looking like it. It's got a nice flow to it where it fades in. And we can even actually um, plus a fade out of the audio and also plus a fade out of the video. So now it's going to drop. And that's made it lag a little bit even more. Boom. Future just wraps for a little bit and then it fades out. Cool, man. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this indeed. So I'm just going to go to a bit where we can nicely see what's going on, right? And I want to kind of bring in some black bars. I'm sure you guys know about black bars. Black bars really can make your edit change from sort of just a basic edit to, uh, to, to make it look much more like a movie, much more cinematic. Overall, this is a very, very cool, simple effect, which is, you know, not even really an effect. Um, but you actually are going to want to go ahead and switch from your favorite filters to your video filters, right? And boom, go ahead and press crop. That is the one. And I would probably crop it. Um, I'd probably take the top up 200. And then I might even do the same to the bottom. 200. Boom. And what that has simply done right there is cropped it and adjusted the aspect ratio, right? Uh, believe, I, I believe that's the word. <laughs> um, and essentially cropped it so it looks like it has those movie black bars. Boom. So really this clip has done a super transformation where before it looked like just a super basic clip. Now, nice and faded, faded in. Boom, fades in. It's got the cinematic black bars, a nice cinematic blue color correction. And then of course it fades back out at the end. So it is looking extremely nice. Boom, right away, if we just go ahead and go to the center of this clip where it's looking pretty nice, right? And then just turn all of this stuff off, Oh, which I can't just drag down. Turn all of these off, boom, 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 boom. If we look at it, that is of course the before. I can drag that down a bit. And now if we turn everything back on, boom, 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 that is the after. So it's looking much more cinematic, really nice, very detailed. Future's got some super Gucci shit on here with this tiger that's on his back or whatever. <laughs> it's definitely looking cool, 100%. And uh, now I pretty much just want to walk you guys through how you can export your final project, right? So you've completed this, you've made your edit. By all means, guys, go way more in depth with this, but I just want to walk you through the basics, okay? Now you've kind of walked yourself um, through the basics by watching this stuff right here. You are simply going to want to go to export. So hold on. <laughs> I'm addicted to just playing this. Go ahead and go up here to ex export, guys. Boom. Export up here. And you're actually going to want to go down to 
H.264 high profile. Boom, go ahead and select that one right there. Make sure your format is on MP4, of course, 1920 by 1080, aspect ratio 16 to 9. Frames, my frames here are 25, okay? Um, now, set your frames accordingly. I believe my frames were recording 24 frames a second here, so if it does round it to 25, um, that's really not making me too mad. Um, YDIF, yes, or progressive, make sure you have it set to progressive right here. Um, then you can go to codec, the codec, I'm not entirely sure about, right? The quality I'd maybe set to maybe 70. Very, very simple. Audio, uh, you can, could have it disable audio or I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and click export, go to my desktop and do save, boom. Go ahead and save that. Do not show this anymore. Uh, you, the drive you chose only has boo, whatever. Okay, my bad, my bad. That's just because my drive's low on, on memory. Boom, now we've clicked export. You would now watch it just export itself right up here. Super simple to exactly the place that I saved it on. And overall guys, that right there is the end of the best free video editing software of 2018. I really hope it helped guys. Hold tight, I'm gonna jump back to right over here, right over here. <laughs> Big up guys, thank you for watching another video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that amazing stuff. Overall, I had to take a little two day break yesterday and the day before. Other than that, I went 30 days in a row uploading every single day, so I really just felt a little bit worn out. I had to take that two days off. I'm sorry about that, but we're back with a bang. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day and goodbye.